we talked about what? Mount Rushmore of uh, fast food. Fast? Is it like just best? Like what? Like what are we base? What criteria? It's got to be the cleanliness of the place. I guess that's hard too because it's fast food. So you're, well, I mean, also since food. COVID though, like how often are you going into a place? Yeah, because we w- we went into Chick Fil A, but it's not like I like going into places though. I, yeah, but how often have you gone into McDonald's where you just hated it? Yeah, yeah. The like, last McDonald's I was at, I was just coming home from Indiana to Michigan, and the water broke on the ceiling. So all of a sudden, this dude, <laughs> wait, what, <laughs> what do you need like? to make sure? Are you talking about in the restaurant <laughs> or in your car? No, no, in in the restaurant. This dude, he's under the ceiling tile, and it like has some leak stains. Eating him a chicken, just gets dumped on. <laughs> he's, just, he's screaming. He's like, "Yo, someone like your ceiling's leaking!" And they're just like cleaning with a mop around him, kind of like some people are looking. Like, uh, it, I think it's happened before or something, but it just had to be that poor guy. Do you know Thankfully, how- it wasn't me. So I actually, when it was uh, hailing and there was a bunch of windstorm coming through, I actually uh, found a piece of drywall. And put it on my skylight because I don't want my skylight at my house to be broken, right? Mm. And like it was hail and it was rain and a bunch of stuff. And so oh, it, I see what you're, I had to, I was processing still. So you, oh, your skylight's here and you put the board on top so that when the hail or stuff came down, you wouldn't have the glass. Break. So yeah, the yeah the skylight's on the ceiling. And so ooh look, it's playing. Hey. <laughs> hey. Sorry, is it gonna be this whole podcast? Where we're just like. Watching planes go by, watching like cars go by. So for people who obviously can't see, because you can only see us, we got we, a little river out there too. A we got a river tubing down, tubing, canoeing. kayaking, canoeing, and we also have this highway with like a bunch of traffic going by. Um, see some cool cars sometimes. Yeah, I mean it's mostly just semis. I mean there's Optimus a Prime. Yeah, I was gonna say. Are you talking about like? Well, we were talking about the rusty Optimus Prime earlier, but. Um, <laughs> But yeah, back to Skylight. So uh, I actually had, like, a, I, it wasn't a board or anything. It was literally just, like, drywall. And, like, when drywall gets wet, like, it, I basically, like, put it on there that one time and, like, threw it away immediately after. Like, it mostly did its job. Like, nothing was broken. But also the, the hail wasn't Even that as big. As it, was, it was, like, I don't know, dime size? Downside sale, Dang. so but yeah, I, I mean, I would imagine like the the drop ceilings that are in like McDonald's. I mean, they're probably not much different, if at all. Yeah, and but, but like, how long do you think it took for that guy to like that ceiling tile? And obviously, like, I feel like if I see any like brown or like yellow spots on the ceiling, I'm not gonna sit there. That's true. Yeah. Like, it could be an older place. I feel like more older places, like antique shops, like places like that, like, you'll see a lot of stuff like that, but, like, not at that one. Like, yeah, I, that's what I was curious about with, like, the McDonald's. Because usually it's just standard. Pardon me. It's just standard. Usually go in, McChicken, Grimace, Shake, you know, McFlurry, whatever right. you're doing, and then you're out of there. But I happen to sit in, and usually, like, even when was, I do was sit it just in, you? see Alone on the Trip. Well, was it just you at me? Like, it was were me. you with friends? No, no, just me, just me. I was like dressed up too. That's what I was saying. It actually would have sucked if it like he was kind of casual. Maybe he was a local guy, so like he could have gone back and showered. I think I had like three more hours left on my drive, and I was in work clothes, so that would have been pretty soggy. Like, I don't know if that was their plumbing pipes or what type of water was coming out of there. Do you think it was poo water? <laughs> I hope not. Have you ever? Seen- I would say they were debating, and people in the restaurant were debating what that was. Red like water, black water, water, clean water. Like, have you seen what the Washington um, Commanders or football team, whatever they are? I think they just did they, some weird. Yeah. Well, they had the poop pipes break on everyone, and like they were just like, getting <laughs> sprayed with water. Did you not see that? No, in their locker room, like the players play. No, or? like the fans, like oh, that's even worse. out in the seating. So like they had a bunch of just like pipes break, and it was getting all over fans. Oh. I mean. Same thing with um, Philadelphia went and played there, and they also had, um, like, basically the bleachers broke down, and um, fans fell onto uh, the Eagles quarterback, Jalen Hurts. 
Do you not see that? No. Do you not keep up with anything with NFL? I I swear the last big thing I knew was the snow falling on like the field from someone's stadium. And when oh, you're talking Super about Bowl, are you talking about Minnesota Vikings at, the, to have been. at their old was, stadium? Yep. Yeah. And then so that, that was, was like probably 2010. Like, <laughs> it's been a while. And then it's also 2023. Also the Super Bowl and the lights came out. Cuz I was pissed. I think the Seahawks were playing. Uh and I like the Seahawks. And I was like that just I don't think it was the moment. Seahawks. It was the Ravens versus the 49ers in New Orleans. Cuz it was the two Harbaugh's against each other. And what? that was that was Ray Lewis's last game. Maybe I was rooting for the Ravens. I don't know what I was rooting for, but all I know is I feel like that when the lights went out, it like ruined their momentum because one team was going on like a crazy rush. Uh, and then the this lights is 49ers. Out, and then it just like kind of stalled out for like an hour. I don't know how long that was to get fixed. But yeah, no, that, that it was, was like funny. icing the clock, but professionally sneaky. No, that was definitely the 49ers. Um, yeah. But back to McDonald's. So obviously, you had, I had that one experience at McDonald's, but. I doubt I'd ever see anything like that at Chick Fil A. Yeah. So, all right, we're going off, off what? We're going off of. Uh, yeah, she can say that's cleanliness. Like cleanliness. cleanliness. I don't know. We'll just go cleanliness or yeah. facilities. Um, obviously, I feel like number one it has to be food. Food. Um, what? What about service? Service has to be on there because Chick Fil A again. Obviously, yes. Unreal. I mean, Chick Fil A is gonna score high and i feel like all the categories yeah i mean i've never been to too many chick-fil-a's even chick-fil-a's that are in like airports that are like not decent yeah that's like so true. a minimum like quality standard right the only like poor and it wasn't even poor service it was just like way too much demand not enough people there to work was when chick-fil-a first came to michigan and then it was in the mall like one of our really like kind of crowded malls and it was in the food court and like it was right near a high school, also just a mall that's popular, and everyone was just queued up because you you know what I mean even with great service you couldn't even service that like it, it was just very kind of long lines but you had to or or you could order online and that was actually fast but yeah that was like the one exception of Chick Fil A service that I've never uh never seen again actually gotcha yeah right. so like you said even in an airport yeah all right so I think we set it up. And the rules are, once one place has been picked, you can't pick it again. I guess, I mean, there's two of us, so that you don't need to do a snake draft, so it can just go back and forth. Mm-hmm. Um, top four, once it's taken, it's off the board. Rock, paper, scissors for who gets first. Yeah, I'm done. All right. Wait, wait I got a time to think, though, as well. I'll do it on the fly. Actually, yeah, we can do what it do on the mean? fly. We'll do it on the fly. You got to do it on the fly. <laughs> I, yeah, there's so many fast food. All I bet right. if you talk about the regional fast food, like here. I mean, you can do regional. Michigan, but I don't know enough about that, too, though. Kind of live in the area. That's fine. All right. Best two out of three um, on shoot. I'm done. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, I knew, I knew yeah, you did were you? gonna do that. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. You are done. <laughs> Come on, dude. All right, all right, I'm done with it. All right, I'm let's done do with it. it. All right, we let's both do have it. to use something else besides right. scissors. No, that's not how that works. <laughs> Yo, because let me imagine. Right, rock, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Paper, scissors, shoot. All right, rock paper. Wait, 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 wait. Rock, rock paper, paper scissors, scissors shoot. <laughs> Yo, rock, rock paper, paper scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. <laughs> Let me win. <laughs> what are you doing? Rock, rock paper, paper scissors, scissors shoot. <laughs> I, I, I kind of cheated. <laughs> no one even knows. But I cheated in an L. Like I had it like this, and I squeezed my hand. <laughs> well, it's on camera. All right, yeah, All right. that's fair. Rock, rock paper, paper scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Rock, rock paper, paper scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Yes. All right. That was way too long. Oh man. All right. One through four, with the quality of the food service slash facilities and cleanliness. I mean, you got to make it good. You got one one overall. Pick. And we're going low to high, right? Like we're starting with our four and then going to the one. I don't think it's any particular order. Oh, that's fair too. Yeah, that makes it easier to actually put things out there. Because you're like you're going greatest of all time, and I think it's no particular order. But like, it's it is Chipotle that the same. Is fast food. Yeah, I mean it's Chipotle. Fast casual, I guess. Chipotle. Well, it's on my list for sure. 
Uh, I I have mixed feelings because they have really good burritos and breeder bowls, but their queso is terrible. That's fair. Like, but I was going to say, I thought you were going to go along the lines of like, I've been at lo- locational Chipotle's where they suck. But then, like other locations, always great. But like, I feel like that's a part of the overall almost. service, though. Like chick, like pretty much anywhere you go for Chick Fil A, you're gonna be consistent. Yeah. Very consistent. Chipotle, like McDonald's, like very inconsistent. McDonald's for sure. sure. I've seen been to a lot of Wendy's and Burger Kings that have been very inconsistent. That's so true. But it's I'm your still pick. keeping. Yeah, I'm that's still keeping pick. Chipotle though, because so I know those locations to go to. Yeah. That's my that's my Okay, idea. I'm gonna number one, two for me, since we've already been talking about it, Chick fil A. I didn't want to take that too. I knew you Well we went there for lunch. It like it's consistent. Yes, it's closed on Sundays, but those other six days of the week you get spicy sandwich, you get fries, you can get everything. It's not and also like I don't feel terrible after I eat it. So like you, big, you go to yeah. McDonald's, and every time I have McDonald's, I don't know if this is a thing or not, but I literally like you that McDonald's taste in your mouth. No matter what you get, yeah. you have this like oily feeling in your mouth. I agree with that. I was gonna say my toilet <clears throat> hates me after Chipotle too. <laughs> well, like, everyone's Chipotle toilet hates is them. just an instant stomach hurter, kind of. I mean, maybe not for some people. All right, that's fair. All that's right, probably not. Yeah, I'll we'll skip off that. Number topic, two pick. Yeah. Number two pick. Um. Wow. I mean, this is like a particular pick. It's going to be probably lower on my list. Still top four of all time, White Castle. It's not White it Castle. Kind of, it breaks everything we just talked about, but I, there is some really good White Castle out there. They, but I go there because the service usually is awful, and that's why I like it. Like, I need to get shit on in line sometimes <laughs> and then get a really good pack of sliders. Like, and it's going to make me feel awful. Sometimes the quality is not the greatest, but it's still top four on my list. 100% White Castle. I, have you ever done like a Crave case? Yeah. Is, do you get a Crave case by yourself? No. no. I was going to say, you have to at least split it with one person, if not two other people. I'm a plain chicken slider guy. I get their I get their Chicken actual... slider? Their burgers are better. I know. I know. I know. I mix them up, but sometimes just the chicken slider is enough. And for some reason, it's probably not true, but I feel like it's better cooked. The chicken slider? Yeah. Is their chicken slider not just like their chicken rings put onto like a bun? <laughs> is there a hole in the center? I've never no, had no, chicken no, sliders. No. no hole in the center. I was going to say, it kind of might be, though. I don't know if I've ever had the chicken rings. Dude, their chicken rings are so good. So I, so I can't have this on top four and... Unfortunately, because like White Castle actually started in Indiana, and it was the very first fast food, like I never knew in that. the world or in the United States or something like that. Even before like McDonald's, but they just didn't grow as big or as fast as McDonald's. So <laughs> I remember I had this girlfriend in college, and she did not. I don't know if she had had White Castle or not, but then I had White. Like I, I like wanted it for my birthday or something. Like it had been a, like. Five, six years since I had it, even though there's one right where I lived. And <laughs> she told me, I, I think it was like five to nine days after that, my farts smelled like White Castle burgers <laughs> after that. <laughs> and she's like, never again will I allow this. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I don't care what you allow or what you don't allow, but like, this was like, it, they're so good, but like, it, it's I always, like a guilty pleasure. That's yeah. like that's why it's in my top four. Like I'm like I, I every once in a while I just need to go to White Castle, not for the service or quality. Like it's just because it's White Castle. Like I need to go to White Castle. Usually it's like someone in the lines. Like I forgot. So I'm like, hey, you forgot to. They just like, hey, like throw it in my oh, face. Oh yeah, they like, don't even pay for like, it. Yeah, they're just angry all the time, and I, I sometimes it's just I need that in my life. I need that that filling. Yeah, so I, and not just the the White Castle farts, but like on top of that is like when you eat like White Castle, literally the next three days you're paying for it. Yeah, like on the toilet, like yeah, how you like I guess how you smell, like just it, it does not make you. If it's good. in your car, your car's smelling for a while, probably. 
I mean, could you imagine working at White Castle or like Subway? Like those are the like probably top two that I feel like have yeah. smell smells right. That's so true. I was gonna say because yeah, some of the I was actually just passing by because I was at a Love's gas station and they always have like Love's McDonald's, Love's Subway, right. and then Love's just has its own. It's actually a pretty cool gas station, but. The McDonald's there is pretty decent. The Subway, I was just looking. I got. I always get a Philly cheesesteak. Probably not the safest thing to order there either. But like at Subway, it's still yeah. <laughs> but Subway still. I always like I Subway too. I feel like too. you eat Philly cheesesteak a lot. I do. I do. Well, it's just all that I need. It's that cheese and meat the and cheese bread. meat and bread. <laughs> That's the triage right there. I mean, you have to get peppers on it, right? <sighs> Ooh. All right. So update on what's happening outside the window. There is oh. <laughs> starting to be a traffic jam. Uh, we're not going to show it, but um, just know traffic is slowing down quite a bit going uh, east, east, going to east, eastbound. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, no, that's just not fun. Probably post work. I don't know what. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably there's probably a lot of people. Yeah, five like, eleven. Yeah, five eleven. People about, go going down. It's about that time. Do you care? Are you are you chilly at all? Huh? Are you chilly at all? I'm a little warm. Are you warm? Yeah. Well, I kind of, <laughs> I kind of turned off the air conditioning so it wouldn't be in the pod. But oh, that's actually so true. I mean, I don't feel because it's right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sucker's probably yeah. loud. And that, too. yeah, that's our. That's we're kind of right. Well, hey, I'm sweating. Doesn't matter though. I promise you. <laughs> what are you, you gonna see the gleam off my face? It's just pure determination. Are you uh you gr- you grinding through this? If we're gonna grind this one out, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long the podcast go for, but I'm grinding this one out. I'm so, gonna say right here. So uh, you, I think everyone has to know. So we got on our plane what like eight thirty, eight forty five this morning. Well, we probably got on a little earlier too, and then we took off at like eight forty. So I don't know. We were taxiing for a long time. Oh yeah, that's kind of true, dude. This morning was a blur for me. I woke up way too early, but. Uh, we, I sit down in my seat, and he booked a ticket right next to me. Didn't expect that necessarily, but booked a ticket right next to me. And uh, I, I was seated like several minutes before him, and then he, like, comes through. There was a guy that was sitting um, in our same row on the end, but um, Anthony comes in, and he like throws his bag down. Or no. He actually throws his bag of beef jerky. I smell his coffee from two or three rows ahead of me. And then he comes, sits down, just fueled of coffee and beef jerky. And he says, ah, all right, let's grind this one out. And we hadn't even done anything or gone anywhere. We were just getting on the planet. I came with the smells this morning. I was going to say, the coffee mixed with the beef jerk, I felt bad for people on the plane just being around me. And then you tried to mix it with black cherry gum. Yeah, that was awful. Okay, see. That's basically medicine. It was given to me for free when I was in Michigan. My friends were like, this gum sucks. (laughs) Yeah, I was going to say, your (laughs) your friends literally about to say your friends hate you if they give you that gum. (laughs) They're like, this gum blows. And I'm like, let me try it out. I tried it. They're like, I don't mind grape flavor and grapes kind of like medicine-y. I mean, grape and, and cherry is different. That's what I was just getting to. Like, this was black cherry. It was a new thing for me. But I I think it's just like that cube gum. Like the icebreaker gum itself, the texture, the chew, like everything about it. You get those little crystals in there. I was going to say, the, the crystals when you're initially chewing it are great. Yeah. But then I like doing two pieces because then you uh, you chew it up and then you can like make blow, like blow bubbles. I guess. Yeah. Like I don't one is too slim, huh? Yeah. One well, you slim. can, but you can't get like decent sized bubbles. So like, you can actually get good sized bubbles that like pop and like can get like maybe half as big as your face, right? Mm-hmm. Also, we got super off topic when we started talking about traffic. We were, we yeah. still, <laughs> you know, we were on the second. We were on White Castle. You were still it was on the smells. I think I don't even know what it was that got us off tangent. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's your turn for your second right. pick. I don't want to cut you off there, but no, it's all good. Are we gonna? Well, are we? You said we can do local, like regional. Yeah, like if you wanted to pick, like for example, I'm not gonna say anything actually because it might be on that list. But like you know, some chains <laughs> down here. You know, maybe, Bojangles or... is not gonna be on my list. <laughs> I know that's what you were gonna, yeah, say. I was gonna say. Bojangles. 
and I gained, I like, all right, I'm not the heaviest, but I got really heavy when I lived in North Carolina and it was strictly Bojangles and cookout. And honestly, there was a couple other mixed in, but, and honestly, I shouldn't even say cookout because it was just strictly Bojangles. Basically. <laughs> and it was the Bowberry biscuit, the Cajun filet chicken sandwich or something, dude, just everything. Okay, I'm, I'm going to let that be your third pick. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. I shouldn't even explain more. That's yeah, my third you, pick. That's your third pick. All right. So <laughs> second pick for me, um, I'm going to go A-Zip Pizza. Pizza spelled backwards. A-Z-Z-I-P. I didn't connect that because you said it earlier. I did. I was asking you about Blaze. And that's a – we talked about this earlier. Uh, it's regional to, like, Indiana. Typically, they, they target, like, college towns. So, like, Terre Haute, Bloomington, West Lafayette, Evansville, like – there's several on there. I think there's some in uh, Illinois, maybe, but it's not super large. Um, but every time you go there, it's kind of like a mod pizza or blaze pizza or um, any of those types uh, where you're literally just getting it. It's good. Like it's like Subway, but for pizza, it's super fast. Like if you get the square zip, which that's amazing, you can get any like unlimited sauces. You can choose like great. one meat for free or whatever. And then you get any veggies that you want, like, completely for free. So it's, like, based off of the size and based off of the meat that you put on there and how many meats and not so much the sauces and the veggies. That's fair. And their cookies, like, they look like poop. <laughs> They're kind of small, but they are sneaky good. There's, like, a lot of chocolate in there, oh, uh, especially when you, like, ask them to warm it up or it's I was going to say, I like a doughy cookie. Like, those are the best. It's not doughy. It's definitely more chocolatey than anything. Yeah, that's still fire. So, I'm going to go with A-Zip. Um, I know there's not much to connect it, but they're always clean. It seems to be well-managed. They're typically pretty quick. Um, and they're always delicious. I will say, I don't always get full off of it, but it's typically, like, a yummy treat that can at least get you through, like, a light lunch. Is it, like, a... Like a personal pizza size, mm-hmm. kind of? Okay. Not like a... Like a four slicer. So, let's see. Uh, what is it? I think their smallest slice is a six slice. And... I've been checking this, too. I just realized. That's fine. I'm sure it's picking up plenty fine. Heck, yeah. Um, but it's typically, like, the small one is, like, six slices, and the other one is nine slices. Oh, heck, yeah. That's a nice pizza. But there, there is the, the square zip... It's a it's a four four square pizza. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Like, is it flat too? Like the other places, like the blade. Oh, I guess you. Well, so the square zip is not flat. It's kind of like a pan pan pizza. That's pretty sweet. But then the regular pizzas are definitely thin, and they have like a basically like an aerator where they like run the thing over it, like air it out so it can actually like cook faster. Oh heck yeah, dude! I gotta. I mean. Do they? They don't have that in Indy though, because there's no cut. Like, they might. I don't know if or where they would have it. You'd have to look online. I'd like to try it only because I'm sure there's more pizza places that are like that, where they kind of have that whole style of like a Chipotle slash like build your own pizza in front of you type deal. I think that's what you're talking about with A Zip too. Uh, yeah, typically like customize your own pizza and kind of watch them go through that. Yep. So I wonder like how many more of those there are because I've done Mod and Blaze. Mod's like the Michigan one. I don't know if that's... It's not just... I've seen... You've seen that too? I feel like I've seen it in Texas. Okay, heck yeah. Maybe it's Blaze, Mod's but I feel like there's a there's a Mod pizza, I think, in Terre Haute. That's pretty badass. Yeah, I've had both of those, and I just... I feel like I gotta have A-Zip now. I mean, you're talking it up too, but I feel like I need like... I need a tri- trio so that I can be like, what's one, two, and three? Because you can get one and two all day and debate those, but you need three picks to like, really like, make a solid do like, choice. Do you like Crab Ragoons? Dude, believe it or not, some girl just asked me if I've ever had a crab rangoon. Or she said, no, 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 sorry, let's get crab rangoons. And I was like, I've never had it. I just tried four things of seafood this year. Remember crab and lobster on my list, though. So yeah. if, like, if I tried crab rangoons, am I getting a good test of, like, what crab tastes like? No. Totally different. Because <laughs> crab rangoons, I, I feel like most time it's imitation crab, and it's, like, I think it's mayonnaise. I need another timeout because I've heard that before too. What? Imitation crab. Uh, I don't really know what it is. I don't really eat seafood myself. 
I think my family likes that. My brother or something or my dad. Imitation crab. So it's got to just be like protein of some animal. Because crab is still just you're eating protein, right? So it's I'm meat. not a food expert. I like. <laughs> Sorry, you just not. made you spurred like eight questions I need answered now. I gotta go research, man. Yeah, I, oh, wait. I'll let you. I'll let you get back to crab wings. I mean, you can get them typically anywhere. Pretty much any like Asian, like uh, Chinese restaurants, like. Did she did she just say go get crab ragoons or like at a specific place? No, just opened with this was like a, a dating website and just opened with let's get crab rangoons. And I was like, Don't wanna sound like a nerd, but I don't I've never had one. <laughs> All right, so is your dating life up for discussion or no? Is that off topic, off limits? Cause I would love like you since we've got here to North Carolina has <laughs> been just Chef's kiss. Uh, <laughs> that's a that's a total you call. I'm not gonna make you talk about anything you don't want to talk about. Uh, mildly, we could talk. We could discuss. <laughs> <laughs> I would say like, all right. Tell me, I'm single. All right, tell me, tell me at least you're like, uh, like the the date, like a date, like we'll do like past tense, like dates that you've been on that was like was terrible. Well, okay, I have an easy one. Like this a, one's just like, like a very common occurrence. Like actually, a worse date? Oh, so this is just a this common occurrence? This is just a common. Okay. This is like, I feel like you could have, like, anyone could have this op- this this thing. Opportunity? Yeah, this opportunity to have, like, it was a bad date, but um, <sighs> it was actually my last date, believe it or not. Um, Did she just not, like, know how to talk or, like? Yeah, no, it wasn't. I don't even want to, like, I, I kind of do blame her for it, but I don't li- I don't like <laughs> blaming. I always look inward first. I'm like, what did I do wrong? Like, dang it. Like, what is wrong with this date? Uh, um, Like, what what could I have done better? But no, yeah, I was, I took her to, I was in Grand Rapids. I was doing yeah. the whole, like, just got out of college training for, you yeah, know, going yeah. into the real working world. And um, this, this, this lady uh, met her out in the city. And I was like, hey. I know a really dope dive bar that I always go to. It's called the Elbow Room. Um, I was like, we should definitely go there. Like, we can get like four drinks for ten dollars. Like, it, it was just a ridiculous. Like, you should see this thing. It was like the pause, bar was pause. the bar was. Did they uh, like, did did they do like diving elbows off the top rope? <laughs> like, is there? A... <laughs> <laughs> You know I had to bring that out. <laughs> That's why I got the elbow room from, man. The elbow room in this. Did you, this, is, this is where I created that. Uh, all right. You got to explain what that means to people. Also, we got to practice that handshake. We do. We yeah. do need to get that down. Uh, this is just like sometimes my dance move in the club. It's well, just, hey, you can't just say this. this, is, this, is, this people could listen just to audio only. That's true. I guess if you can imagine... I'm holding my my hands just vertical. One of them, you know, ninety. You're cranking a ninety with one one arm, and the other arm, you're just cupping that elbow, and then you switch. <laughs> and that's that right there is just I got it kind of from thinking about the elbow room. I I get into some MMA sometimes, and I love watching that too. And this was just it felt like it felt right, just dropping bows or you know delivering the payload. I'm just I'm ready for action. So, if I do this. so <laughs> let me ask you this: Did you hit your date with that move? No, no. no. Okay, see, I didn't pull it off there because I wanted to keep it modest. I can't let that side out to like a can't new, let that new shine. person. Okay, like, I know you, so I could drop that every once in a while. You know what I mean? <laughs> but like, I didn't know this was a first kind of like in person meet up with this this lovely lady, and um, yeah, essentially took her there and. I talked pretty much, I want to say we were there for an hour. I probably talked 45 minutes of that time with little, little responses on her end. Um, Basically, maybe I'm a talker. So when she like would reply back to you, like how short ended, what would it be? Like what kind of responses were you? All right. So I'd be like, just got drinks and stuff like thanking the waiter. And I'm like, wow, like, this looks awesome. Did you pay She's for the like, drinks? She's eh, like, not really. Did you pay for the drinks? Yeah, I paid for everything. 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 Okay. We didn't get food given, and it was a dive bar, so the drinks were cheap. So like, she's not thinking I'm some hot shot, I, hot shot, I guess here. Yeah. But like, still buying drinks. Don't know this girl. Yeah. You know what I mean, I feel like you kind of, 
maybe that's a given to some girls. You just always expect the guy to give them drinks. But, you know, sometimes I'd, I like to shake it up and go 50s or do different things like that. But, yeah, this girl, I was like, you know what? She seems cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay for drinks and take her to a little cheaper bar that I love personally. Love and uh, love to go to just to hang out myself. And so I figured, you know, just one extra person, what, could, what, what, what type of a bad time could that be? It'd only be better. But yeah, no, talking to her, I'd be like, wow, like, look at this drink. Pretty excited. Tastes good too. And she's like, eh, not really. Like, just, <laughs> just, and not really. And I'm like, ah, oh, like, how do you follow up with that? Like, what do you say? I'm like, do you, do you like, like, vodka maybe? Or like, did you get something that you don't like? And then it would just be like, kind of like another, like. Did she not tell you what drinks that she liked? No, she said, she's like, I like tequila and like vodka, kind of light stuff. And then, hey, given I wasn't drinking what she likes, I was drinking whiskey. Uh, I was going to say that. <laughs> That's what I like. So, so, all right, this is my best piece of advice. I feel like most of the time when you meet like a whiskey girl, either one of two things, and there's no in between and there's nothing else that you can do. Either you got to get away immediately because like <laughs> most women who love tequila are just weird. Yeah, they're that's like fair. they're they're My probably sister loves tequila. She's was, a little strange. I was gonna say like most girls that love. Well, you said tequila, but I'm talking about whiskey. Like if they like whiskey, like they're one of the buddies. They're one of the bros. Like yeah. not like whiskey. Like I I don't really drink whiskey that much. I'm not a big fan, but I, I'll do typically like a gin, Guinness. Um, but, um, that's, I mean, top two Lights off my mind. Some beers, yeah. I'll do some beers. Um, not often. I'll like, if I'm at a new place and they have just a giant list, I'll just like point at the menu and pick that. Mm -hmm. But like, so you get one in the spectrum where they're just buddies or like, it's a really specific type of girl where like it's bad a, out of hell. Uh, what to get away from? No, I've seen like some with. I didn't know if you were going to like the whiskey avenue of like. I've seen some girls that are just kind of like a bad out of hell on whiskey too, where you kind of like. I guess maybe that's the sense of what you meant, like get away from. I guess. I guess. Yeah. So, what are you trying to say when you say bad out of hell? Like really, just kind of like off their rocker. Their uh, uh, could be angry. Kind of like the guy whiskey drinker that's on the bad side. Because you got those, too. Where they just, like, drink whiskey and start getting angry at stuff. Uh, I mean, they're, like, they're, like, I, I've known people in the past that, like, my mom has dated, right? And they were just a bad drunk. They're aggressive drunk, like, yeah. but, like, when they were not drinking, they were, like, so much fun to hang out with. Like, great to be around, like, making jokes, cracking jokes, like, having fun. But, like, when they would start drinking, then it would just kind of set them off and like mm -hmm. things would start getting more physical or violent but yeah. like and i don't think it mattered the type of alcohol i think it was the type of person and like maybe they're mixed with alcohol like yes and how they like i think there has to be something with like genes and alcohol right where it's like yeah for example there's always been a, a stereotype in hollywood where like like native american people can't handle their alcohol they get drunk really quick or like you have the the stereotype of like um this British dude or this German guy like, like they can drink just slug lot. it back or, or like Italian yeah. folks like you like like I know you have a lot of <laughs> Italians in your family I'm sure like there's the wine one, drinkers yeah where like they can just continue to get hammered and be fine and probably do illegal drinking and driving or just driving home drunk and still somehow be able to like function. Yeah. Where other people are like, yo, I, I one drop I, in there. I gotta take an Uber. I can't I can't get anywhere. I can't do anything. Yeah. So with like and the other side of it is like it's like the person the the woman who I feel is like a, a whiskey drinker is like very specific where it's like either you just get far away from or like you just keep them as friends. Or they're like super cool. And you like you kind of have a longer thing out that's drawn out, and you're you're getting to know them, and like they end up turning out being super cool. Yeah, because like there's this one person that I know that is actually really cool, um, and they were telling me, and this is this is a woman. I was super surprised. She's like, I literally love drinking 
uh, whiskey and smoking cigars. Hell yeah. And I was like, that, see, that brings happiness to my heart, though. She's a good woman, <laughs> too. Like, that's just is awesome. Yeah. And, like, I absolutely like adore talking to her. Like, uh, I mean, she's much, much older than I am, but, like, when you hear people like that, like, and you've obviously seen them not drunk, um, it's like, I feel like this is someone who's probably just super cool just to hang out with and just, like, be buddies with. 100%. So I guess there is a spectrum, but. I was going to say, because I know a, a lot of good, like, some of my homegirls can just slug back captain with me, like, or longer than me. I've never, and they're, they're cool girls, too. So I, I know a couple of them for sure. Um, but I, I also have had that taste of kind of. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah. So back get, to the point. Back to yeah. the point. And eventually we will get to our top four restaurants, <laughs> but we have gotten off that topic. I think I'm at three. You're, you're at three. Yeah, I'm at. So I probably need to draft another one. But get back to your, like, worst dating story. <laughs> I will, okay. So, like, I don't. I, and I, we're live, I guess, but not live because maybe we're going to edit it. But the point is, if I'm we, not, uh, no, oh, no edits. Well, okay, so yeah. maybe I can't drop all my because I have some explicit stuff where like it's just gone bad. But I don't, I mean, I, as I don't long know. as we're not mentioning names, but like whatever you're comfortable sharing, like, like, I like, I mean, you can cut, I don't care if you I'm cut, an, it's like, I'm an, yeah, I'm, I'm just an open book, but I don't know how, I, don't, I guess, I mean, it's up to you what you want to share. Like again, I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna like you know, like you, you may ask me some questions. I may not get super detailed, but like I'll say some things here and there. I guess there's no easy way to drop this one, but I have myself before. I'd count it as a date. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so true. it's so true, though. I'm sorry. That was like my worst ever date. Okay. In my life. Okay. And I don't know if I can okay. say that. We can cut. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're not cutting there, but You can dig it as much as you want. I've already dropped the ball there. So that you, you guys can judge me how you want to after that one. But, yes, I have. I have done that one time. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. So you went Deuce Bigelow, European Gigolo on him. Explain. Like. How it happened. Did someone, like did, some, did someone, like, pay you? Yes. Hundred dollars at the time. I was a senior in college. Um, so like, all right. I okay. met her at the bar. Okay. I was just like, okay. I'll just lay out the story of how I met her, and then okay, it should be fine after. I'll give you some details, and I think all right, we're gonna do the guy thing. One to ten, how hot? Four, three. She. Yep. Bigger. Way. I said, don't get on top of me, and. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean. Like I was just there was some laws that had to be laid if this was gonna get 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 played out, and that's that's how it went. But yeah, no, the the late super sweet girl, and that's like actually the reason. Like I needed the money, so it helped me for sure. That's why I agreed to do that. Okay, okay. But like the reason it was like I qualify as a bad date. Cool story, I guess, too. But like just bad date because I just felt awful. Like some. That she had to resort to that. Like, because usually it's a guy paying a girl, you know what I mean? And I'm not even any special person. I think it's just that she, like, really, like, just needed, I don't know, maybe she wasn't, I, I don't know what the problem was there, but I felt so bad after that. Uh, okay. And I was like, oh. uh, there, there's so much to. I know, I'm sorry. I to, dropped, that's a bomb. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, it's the worst day story, and I was, like, trying to avoid it. I told a really tame one. Okay. All right, so. That's why I don't go on many dates. Well, I'm just. Why? Because you're afraid off. people are going to. No, like, no. That, don't that give was, me so much. That was consensual. Should she ask me? Like, we the, we met at the bar, and, like, this cool. Like, I think the more the reason why I felt bad, too, is, like, this this girl just approached me at the bar and was just, like just shot or shot essentially like hey can we hang out like what's your number and stuff and i was like this is really nice you know at the bar when you when you go up to like a random person i think that's so hard and then she came up to me and was like you know can i get your number i gave her my number because i also dislike people like that like where if you're just gonna it takes so much balls to go up and just ask for like someone's number or contact info so even if you don't like like them in my opinion or like have any intention of following up with that 
you either give them like your number or like I guess I've heard fake numbers, which is kind of rude. But I gave the girl my number and I didn't plan on following it. Essentially, I just was like, "That's respect." I was like, "Heck yeah!" Like, you like go you girl, heck yeah! And then she texted me that night, and I was, I kind of blew it off. Like I said, I had no intention of following it. Okay, so it sounded like this wasn't like an immediate thing that happened. Like in it the was a course planned. of a night. Does she have, like, was it just her at the bar or her with friends? Her at the bar or with friends, but she approached me alone because I was with my friends. That's what I was Did saying. It was, not... like, respect. I was, like, I was with a group of guys. I was, like, holy crap. She's, like, that's badass. Yeah, that, Whew. okay. So, I mean, there's so many different ways to look at this. Like, yeah, like, yes, you kind of feel bad where she would have to do that, but, like, do you think it was possible that there was anyone else at the bar that was, I guess, in her kind of range of like, like, you know, uh, what is it called? When someone like tries to date someone who's like much prettier than them. What's that? I can't remember what that's called. I know what you're talking dating about. Dating someone out of your league. Yes. 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 Do you think there was someone that was in her league? That was yes. There? Yes. But I feel like also at the same time, people are just so like, I think people often look to date out of their league or, like, to go out of their league because that's what they, like, I don't know, maybe that's what they're attracted to or something. But, like, in reality, the right person could be in your league. So I was, like, I feel like you – that's what I'm saying. Like, the whole time, all these thoughts in my head were, like, I feel like she could have definitely not paid someone $100 and they would have done it. Maybe it wasn't her person, though, or they would have done it out of, like, weird intent or something. I don't know. Okay. So do you, like – so do you think she had done this previously? No, I I, I guess I don't know. I know her you, first name. I have her number. No, we and don't I got want paid. No, I'm not saying any no. of this. But I'm saying like the amount that I know this girl is so slim. And I didn't ask many questions. To me, it was like, and as, as sick as that sounds too, I was like, you know, I was donating plasma. I'm a Domino's delivery driver and an alcohol ambassador. I'm like $100 is candy right now. Give me that. Like I need that. And no matter how you got it, you're just like, cool. Because $100 and another avenue was plasma, donation of plasma. And I can't, like, I hate being touched here and here. Like, right where you can see your veins, kind of. I, I can touch it, and I still get cringed out. But, like, donating plasma and having to, like, squeeze a ball here and, like, have that thing just be in your vein. Like, I hated that. And that was only for $100 per hour. And you only did it for an hour. So I was like, that? Or just go get this over with for an hour for that week. Gotcha. And I was like, I have to do it. All right. Try to fix your mic. But, um, yeah, <sighs> I feel. <sighs> I'm going to just hold it. Yeah. I don't know if I like holding it so far. It's been all right. It's been okay. But I feel like I feel like you get so loud where you got to, like, you got to pull that thing away or at least keep that thing oh, close. Oh, you're right. Um, just, uh, yeah, probably, honestly, the whole block can hear what I just said about my. No, uh, probably not. I hope not. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> what do you think is – where do you think this podcast is going, Anthony? But I really yeah. honestly feel like we got to cut that story just for the sake of you. Yeah. Um, But I'm still going to ask questions because I'm interested. You're welcome to. <laughs> You're welcome to. <laughs> so, like, let me ask you this. What do you think you did with that $100? <laughs> Definitely celebrated. I no no no. But what do you spend it on? Probably nothing important. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> something that went away like the next day, probably so or you the think... next two days. But I have a caveat. If we're not going to explain this anymore, or like put it in, I guess. But I, I'll still tell you about it. Is like, yeah, I got paid like forty to eighty more dollars after that for nothing. I didn't do anything, wasn't texting, just was getting Jeez. paid. Like, she sent me $40 one time and then, like, 35 another time. Like, out of, like, a two-month span after the event of getting paid 100 So, what do you, why do you think she did that? I don't know. It made me feel worse, though. Because I was like, shit. Like, obviously, I like I like the money. But I'm like, I'm not your shit. Like, so, did, like, did you accept the money or give it back? I accepted it. <laughs> Attaboy. <laughs> I'm awful. Had a boy. Yeah. 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 So that was uh that was that dating story. So I haven't lived that one down ever. I told my friends obviously and they always bring that one up. I mean, how could you not? I mean, I feel like there are plenty of stories like Yeah, that's wow. 
Um, yeah. That was okay. senior year of college. But hey, back to uh, <laughs> back to your third option for fast food. <laughs> okay, third option for fast food. Uh, Jesus Christ. That was such a long segment and so sensational. It's like, I don't want to cut that, but at the same time, I'm like, how can that live on the internet? That's what I would say. Like, if you wanted a true story, because that's my problem, is like a lot of my stories can be explicit. Sorry, <laughs> can be explicit, but what? A lot of them can be. Oh, no, I was looking. I thought the wing looked different on one side of it. But, um... Yeah, uh, another airplane. Yeah, sorry about that. No, but yeah, a lot of mine can be explicit because I just, like, the way I live my life, I like to kind of just do rent, like, try everything once, do everything, kind of like be spontaneous and all that. So some of my stories are not necessarily all G rated. And that's why. I, I mean, like... I, don't, I don't expect it to be G rated, but I feel like. That, uh, I mean, I'm sure there are plenty of stories where you could tell where it's like, you know, it, it's not so, like, sensational, but, like, at the same time, it's like, do you want that information to be out there to the public, essentially? That's what I was saying. And, I was like, and yeah. like, that's not that's not my call. That's a you call. That's why I, like, that's so you fair. see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's so fair. That That's why I'm like, I don't know. <sighs> I'm yeah, like, that's true. So that's that's all I'm getting at. I'm an open book, but I guess yeah, that was more like I was open with I could be open with you, but then yeah, maybe. maybe yeah, I mean, I did, like no one needs that, unless they want to talk. To I mean, this about. podcast, like, and this is the great thing about podcasts is where like we're literally just sitting here on a couch Chatting and it up. like we could literally be in someone's car like right now. Oh, I like that car. <laughs> that oh, that blue one. Oh, this one right here. This little guy. Oh. Okay, it's gone. Go. But we could be in someone's car and some listeners and like, I don't know. It's like you're sharing, like you're basically sharing a story on a larger stage. I mean, I don't I, like my podcast is nothing. I don't really reach many people, but like, you never know. You never know. Like, if, some, if that, like, if that <laughs> clip of you, you just were like, I prostituted myself out. <laughs> like, imagine that on, on, tiktok and there's subtitles going yeah and then oh that's that's literally like the start of it like people are leaning in on their seats like oh what what do you mean okay continue i'm just not lying and like that's just like sometimes i have to come from a heart but like i guess yeah you could that could paint like a bad image on me because people already look that poorly on prostitution well i feel like for i feel like that like when it's a guy they don't care like the woman know. got the thing that she wanted. You got the money that you needed. Like that's why it was a very consensual agreement. Like both parties. Like she first of all reached out to me. You know what I mean? It wasn't like, hey, I need a hundred dollars. Can I do this service for you? Like that's a different story, I think. Okay. Um, to keep this as G as possible, <laughs> you you already said she couldn't get on top of you. <laughs> so, all right, one to ten, how good was uh, was intercourse? We'll just put it at that. I didn't finish. <laughs> What she, th- <laughs> what she that 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 dude it was just awful it was just awful but it was well well worth the money though but that. did she did she finish? yes yes i was a hooker essentially <laughs> i had to do my job I was that's that's what it. i was there for and i got up and i left after after uh she so you, you know, didn't stay for the post cuddles no i don't even think i yeah no no i beat it yeah no. oh my god all right Oh, that was like a good 20, yeah, 30 minutes. Say, that was like the best. I'm sorry. That's a, no. That is a true story. That is like, that's. See, I like, I don't have a bad one where it's like that. Mine, like mine are more of like. I can tell a bad one, actually. I was going to say. Like my... a G-rated, not G-rated, but like a bad one that like sucked for me and was, was kind of, sorry. I want to turn to talk to you, but then I realized. He's like, just like, put it like that. <laughs> I do have a lot of again. I don't know. Too. I don't know how it's picking up. I'm. I'm gonna imagine fine because people like, like when I had it right here. I'm yeah. fine. Yeah. Even when I was off. And I'm access. naturally loud, like you said too. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if you're getting picked up into my microphone too. I mean, we're yeah. sitting right next to each other, so is no. what it is. No, yeah, I was gonna say like, I don't know how cut ins go, but yeah, one like 
one story i guess that has been really sucky for a dating story was back in like what was this ninth grade because we just got where i'm from essentially we have two middle schools okay. well we have more middle schools in the city but Okay. Two middle schools in my district of town that both funnel into the same high school. Okay. So you grow up with your friends in elementary school, and pretty much everyone from those elementary schools near your middle school go there. You're literally describing the U.S. education system. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get to your boy. I, I, feel like a, I feel like a founding father now. But um, what's it called? Yeah, so essentially you got – those two at middle schools would merge to high school and then like freshman year of high school you're like who are all these new kids like all these other freshmen that right. we don't know because like we were the eighth graders and but like, also i feel like i mean sometimes i don't really consider people i dated in middle school i think i really only dated like one person in middle school that's what i'm saying i but haven't like, had like much dating experience until recent like recent as in like that college years but it's also that. different now because like you have money you can go do things you have a car you have a place like it feels more real it feels like there are more stakes because yeah. like when you're in middle school high school some extent to college as well like you guys lives can separate and you you're gonna be just fine like you know people... i wasn't fine i was upset I hey i've been through so many hard breakups so myself where like i was just so Re distraught like like i like i had a, a um i had a breakup in like senior year of high school and i remember i was just sitting on the toilet using the bathroom i was just so mad upset i just punched the wall yeah and <laughs> like it's not a very good story but like i was just like my face was like well, your hand hurts after you're already like you're like my hand... pissed off before, but then you're pissed off after that you did that. I feel like too. At least you usually didn't. It's it. it's so like I will say that's the only time where I've been so upset I like had to like punch something or something needed to be like I just I felt so overwhelmed like the energy or the feeling that I felt had to be be released somehow, mm -hmm. and like I know I would never hurt person if i was so upset like it would either be myself or an inanimate object mm -hmm. before anything else absolutely yeah and like i never end up fixing the drywall i think my mom ended up fixing it but like that's respect too she probably knew you're upset and was like I well i mean so a lot of my life i've had to deal with not well there's some domestic abuse not between me and my mom but like that she in had the house that yeah that she had to go through and definitely like when you know the parents emotions got high or they were very intense like people would just be yelling screaming just spitting mad and like mm -hmm. like you the best thing to do is just like keep a calm voice separate make that distance like mm -hmm. there were times like for example um we had just gotten McDonald's, and my mom was driving me uh, to my middle school girlfriend's basketball game. And I had just finished, like, a burger or something like that and put my burger wrapper back into the McDonald's bag where it belonged. And my mom was like, why would you throw, like, put that trash onto, like, my fries or whatever? And yeah. I was like, what? what? Huh? I was like, I I was it wasn't like, oh, this is food grade material. Like you're just I didn't want to throw it on the floor though too and then <laughs> yeah, leave it there for two weeks. I see what you're saying. And I think she just like she had a long day. I mean, she's had a hard life. Mm -hmm. And so like every little thing triggers her very quickly, right? So mm -hmm. if you catch her at the wrong time, you're gonna get that and like she's like, I'm just gonna turn the car around and I was like, No, drop me off right here. I'm gonna walk the rest of the way. It wasn't terribly far. But like create that space so that they can just breathe create and that breathe. space and i can still go and do the thing and like so true it's stuff just happens all the time but um i know we were talking about like bad girl stories i guess i wouldn't say bad girl stories but like there's there's stuff that happens like that like all the time and i mean i mean i know we we're going to the the dating of like 
people and that you're going you're talking about the dating of like your ninth grade self. <laughs> yeah, so, I see what you mean. That is definitely not dating. I was just so pissed off. We went to go see Twenty One Jump Street. I bought tickets. <laughs> Like twenty one Jump Street, eighth grade or ninth grade. I was gonna say like, that you probably shouldn't be watching it in ninth grade. I know, I know. But honestly, I'm pretty sure her mom actually came just to get us our tickets. No oh, more. really? Like, cause we were in the movie theaters alone. That's and how. So, you, like, that, that's how you. Know, when you have parents like that, they just don't give a fuck. I'm pretty sure her parent was like a college professor too. She was. Really? She was kind of chill. Kind of chill. But yeah, no, that girl freaking sucks. She wanted to like kiss first date. And I was an eighth grade, And you're like, no, grade. 100 bucks like, right now. No, I'm like, we can hold hands. Like, that's that's where the I line is I feel like you just drawn. totally glazed over what I said. <laughs> yo, yo, like, yo. <laughs> yo, awful. That is not how I operate. That is not how I operate. Like, this ain't, this ain't free, baby. <laughs> enough. Enough. You, can, you cannot hang that over me. Um, oh, man. All right. No, I was like, hand holding, highest we're gonna go. I just met you. You're from a different middle school, you know. <laughs> Not that little. We don't know each other going on. <laughs> Listen to you know, middle school Anthony. So funny. <laughs> like we're holding hands at the rated R movie. That's that's good for me. Shoot, like we can maybe go on a next date and then kiss or something. And kissing in ninth grade or eighth grade was like, that's it. I You're know. off. Yeah. But like, still, that's a big deal for me back in the day. So. uh yeah, we held hands all movie. Movie closes. My buddy that I played football and like wrestled with at the time he comes in. I see him like walking in the movie theater next. I'm like, no way. What up, Ben? How you doing? And, like we dap up and stuff. Um, <laughs> we're from the same middle school. Sure, sure. So I'm like, what's up? What's up? And he's like, all right, I'll see you later, man. I'm going to see a movie. I'm like, for sure. I hugged the girl by and like my mom picked me up. She went to go see the movie with him next. Like the same movie again and then made out with him. And then, and then he told me, because he's he my bro. Him? Like, he was my homie. And he didn't know that I had just been on a date with her. <laughs> <laughs> so she really wanted to kiss herself. I don't know. But, yeah, no, I got screwed. I got, that girl just. Is she happily married now? No, she's like an influencer or something. <laughs> <laughs> she should not be influencing anyone. <laughs> anyone. Oh. She can't do it in eighth grade. Dang it, man. That's... All right, sorry. That's that so gets funny. me fed up. But yeah, that's my that's my dating back in the day. It's just I see. My innocent soul being crushed by some player player ass females. <laughs> I see, I see. So yeah, nowadays I don't uh I don't date often, but But when I, I make do. fast food dates. <laughs> hey, right. what's your third one, son? <laughs> you look like the type of person who went to McDonald's for prom. No, dude, I went to some weird, like, Olga's or something. Olga's Kitchen, maybe? I don't know how to say it. I think it's Olga's Kitchen, though. It was Italian. Applebee's was the place yeah. to go for prom, at least in Terre Haute. Applebee's is pretty sweet. All right, so, yeah, we just made this over an hour just to get to my third pick. Um, And I have not even been thinking about that at all. I definitely messed up a whole 20 minutes. Mm, I'm going to go with Wendy's. Do you like Wendy's? Is the four for four back? Uh, yeah, I believe so. All right. If it is, yeah, Wendy's gets like an eight, eight to ten. Yeah, when these nuts at your face. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. And I wasn't <laughs> expecting it. We were talking about fast food. That was slick. That was actually slick. Right. Okay. That was slick. I wasn't that one. You caught me. But I'm gonna go Wendy's for that joke alone. Also, the traffic cleared up. But uh, I was gonna say I was checking that out. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go Wendy's purely for that joke. But also, they're Frosties, vanilla and chocolate. No fry dip in the Frosty. Can't do it. Can't live with it. No. Can't win with it. No dips. <laughs> Straight spoon into the Frosty. But yeah, the, the 4 for 4 or the poor for 4 as I like to call it. Because you get fries, a sandy, a drink, and what else? And a, no, it wasn't a cookie. It was spicy nugs oh, nuggets, for me. Nuggets, yeah, nuggets. spicy nugs, the, the, fr- the sandy and the fries. I can just eat. Yeah, so I'm going to go. just amazing. The pork for four is great. The chicken Asiago sandwich. I don't know if they still make that, but that was great. That also, sounds good. a Dave's single and the Dave's double. Just a simple, just like number one or two is or whatever. Is that bacon on it? No, that's the Baconator. Oh, okay. Uh, that rocks. 
Like, <laughs> like I've had the juiciest Dave singles or Dave's doubles at like, obviously at Wendy's, but like those are like the juiciest fast food burgers. One hundred. Uh, I mean, In and Out is great, but like uh, Shake Shack. Uh, I can't remember last time I had Shake Shack, but I just had it because my cousin doesn't have it up in Missouri. So like, literally yesterday for dinner, he's like, "You gotta get me Shake Shack." It's good, but I would prefer In and Out for sure. It's expensive too. I realize. Yeah. I think I got like a shake and some food, and I didn't get like a lot of food. I just got some fries and a burger and a shake, and it was like twenty bucks or something. Right. Compared to the other options on our list, like that's kind of. I mean, we went to Chick Fil A, got milkshake, sandwich, fries, 13. drink, fifteen bucks. Thirteen to fifteen. That's what I'm saying. So I Shake mean, Shack has some price to it. Their shakes are quality. I will say they kind of have a bad. Not as shake good as a Chick Fil A shake though. Dude, I don't know, actually. I just had the Oreo funnel cake shake yesterday from Shake Shack. It's good. I mean, And I had the first time I had Chick-fil-A today. It's like, it would be a hard mix. I couldn't tell because they do have, like, some differences. But I actually do think. I'm not trying to hate on my pick. Yeah, not trying to hate on your pick. But I yeah. think that the funnel cake was kind of crazy. I just never had something like that. Ever. All right, go for your last pick. Also, I agree with Wendy's, though. I just wanted, before I pick my last pick, like, because we had a, like, at my high school, there was a couple places right by, like, Panera, a couple things like that, but directly across the street was Wendy's, and that was where, like, we'd have senior off-campus lunch, so you could drive and go get lunch rather than meeting at the cafeteria and, like, bringing a lunch. We, they wouldn't allow that in high school. They, that was where, yeah, I was just, like. That was my favorite thing ever. You can go just sit in your, I'd usually sit with the truckers. <laughs> like behind a tropical smoothie, there's a tropical smoothie too, and I would just sit back there at the truckers and play my music in the old Cherokee. Roll the windows down sometimes, do a wave. Like I'm like, where, I wonder where they're coming. What do you from. mean by the ukulele or what? No, 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 just a little like wave out the window. I uh, just to say what up. I was. No, like, I'm saying oh, what? What instrument did you play when you were chilling in your car? Oh no, just listening to my music oh, at the time. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, no, no. At the at the time, I didn't play any strumming instrument. I just had the piano on me, and and I actually didn't have a keyboard because I was living at home with my parents, and we've always had like a really old, beat up, uh, stand up piano, like not the grands, but the ones that sit yeah. on the wall. I know what you're there. talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really out of tune, but that one rocks. How do you tune a piano? Beyond me, I think you need to be like. Well, I guess I shouldn't say. Like a technician of some sort. Yeah, yeah. You got to be specialized in that. For All sure. right. So this actually. So one of the biggest things I've been thinking about over the past couple of days to talk to you about is it's more philosophical than anything, but um, it's so we'll get back to the food, but this is like something I really wanted your opinion on. So you know how people say good vibes? Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you? Don't worry, it's not bad podcasting. We just got a man thing going here. Yeah, sorry about that. It takes me a second to process things off. Um, I'd say, I don't know. I mean, that's hard. You got to be around good people. And it doesn't even have to be a good place. I mean, maybe it, that's hard. Because I don't know. I'm, I think I'm probably thinking about it way too deep. But. Well, that's kind of what I'm trying to get. I want you to think about it a little deeper because I have this thought that I heard from another podcast, but like, um, I'm trying to lead you down a path right now. So I'm without I, saying the exactly. I got gotcha. you. Essentially, like, it just I I don't know. I don't use. I try not to use that word too much because I don't even know kind of how I define it. But like, because people will be like, "Let's catch a vibe." What does that mean? I guess now that you think about that, you know what I mean. Like so, catch a vibe is that is that a good? I I get where it's coming from and what the context that it's used in. So but I, then, like, yeah, what what does vibe mean? So we dancing. Do you, <laughs> <laughs> we like going to get some so, food at a nice restaurant and like enjoying the atmosphere of like the place or the company. So I think. So let me ask you this. Do you think vibe is short for another word, or is it its own word? Like the way people, so like I'm asking, like vibration, good vibration. 
Marky Mark and, and the gang. <laughs> yeah, I was listening to Good Vibrations this morning. I'm here. So, um, so that's kind of, yes, that's the path where I was kind of leading you down. Is to, like, is vibe, like, when someone says good vibes, or like, let's vibe together, it's probably about, like, the, the act, like, when, because when I think about it to me, and, like, I, I'm, I'm asking you this because you're a musician, you are, like, super addicted to music, like, you have taste that's all over the place, you play it, you sing it, you karaoke, like, you go to airports, yeah, you go to, you go to airports and you play the music on piano and get paid sometimes, I'm sure you've probably done some gigs or you've vibed out with your brother and his friend on their podcast, and, like, the way, like, when I look at you, when you're just listening to music, like, when you when you think about sound or energy like you think about vibrations i'm thinking of like all right let's get on the same wavelength and like let's get on the same wave so like if it's if it's surfing like you can think of that as i, I don't know if it's sine or cosine waves or whatever but like waves that are going up and down like this mm-hmm. and obviously there are sound waves that are coming from the music and it's like how that music is like making you feel and like the way this microphone works right now, it's probably, I think it's what, it vibrates a wire that wire vibrates and makes signals that are digital, right? And it converts it to like ones and two or ones and zeros. And so that's how like you pick up sound from mics, right? Yeah. Is the vibrations. Like if you have one of those like children's microphones where you're just like singing into it and it's like, like literally a coil on the inside or a spring of some sort and it's vibrating back to you this is awesome and i'm trying to like i'm still processing i'm still like stuck like i'm like yeah but like i don't know because there's something when when you were talking about the vibrations i was like because i just thought about like natural frequencies and stuff and i was thinking like because there's some people i feel like when you go around like for example when i lived in north carolina and i got lunch at the cafeteria at work there's this little lunch lady, like we really didn't have any reason to talk. And I would just say hi and like, how is your day going? And sometimes we'd talk longer, but just like kind of being around that lunch lady was like, it made my day better. Like her, like our aura, I don't even know, like her, just the way she was, I guess, and the way she talked or like treated other people. I don't know what it was, so but I, she was a good vibe though, I would say. Cause like just being around, it's like almost like Nancy. Nancy was cool. Nancy gives me good vibes. Right. So, like, I kind of look at, like, good vibes and, like, so, like, when someone has a good vibe or I can't, I feel like after listening to the podcast, I was talking about, like, thinking about, like, the vibrations, like, like, I I don't know how ears work, but I would imagine your ears are, like, when you hear sound, your ears are vibrating, vibrating right? For sure, yeah. And so, like, when you're feeling that, it's such a good vibration. It's making you, like, want to physically move or dance or, a.k.a. vibrate your body in some rhythmic way. Ah. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, when that's kind of happening or when you're around someone and, like, just by the sight of seeing them or, like, if they smile at you in a certain way, like, and you have some form of connection and that connection can happen without words from across the room or from a FaceTime call. There's got to be like something more to that than sight, you think? I think. I so. mean, I think a lot of it has to do with sight. I mean, also, like I don't know too many blind people, but like I I would imagine like they're going Dude, <laughs> actually kind of purely off vibes, right? That's actually a crazy Yeah, I was going to say like I wonder if that's the same feeling cuz I just described the way like my the, my old lunch lady back at where I was working like that was like it was just like being in her presence made me like you know I mean it was like I'm in a good like I don't know I just felt like better I guess so I'm wondering now yeah like if a blind person is in a room whether that be I guess that's not fair to say like someone they're familiar with but like just someone and then they could feel like a good energy I don't know so like uh like I know a, a a blind person and they they have a husband and um all that good stuff and 
I would imagine based on the sound that he makes when he walks or the presence of like him being around like the corner, like when you feel like if you've ever lived with someone, whether it's been a roommate that you liked or like someone mm-hmm. that you're in a relationship with, just the like knowing that their presence is there and knowing that like there is some share or some form of connection between you two is like 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 taking the side out of things just the vibrate like when you like i don't i actually don't know the type of house that you grew up in but like if you had a good relationship with your parents or like a sibling right and you could tell by the sound running up the stairs or whatever you're like oh that's my sister even though you're downstairs can't see or like you can barely hear it like that little faint or like the slamming of the fridge door you're like my mom or dad wouldn't do that but my sister's like in a rush or something exactly so like you can hear the the franticness of people moving or um like just feeling that feeling and like when you get a good vibe it kind of makes it feel like there's gravity to someone so like for example yeah I I feel like when you're around someone that you like, that gravity like attracts the two people together, right? And they come together, mm-hmm. and like relationships start forming from that gravity between. And then so, like obviously the two people don't become one mass, but you're like, like just in orbit. Yeah. <laughs> you're just in the same orbit. At that point. Exactly. It's like. Like, you may have someone who has, like, a bigger gravity to them where they're attracted, but, like, the person still has, like, another gravity to them. Yeah. But it's maybe not as big, right? And so, like, having that that harmony, that frequency, like, the earth and the moon, like, I feel like, I don't know if the, it's still scientifically fact where it's, like, the moon uh, affects the tides, the gravity of that. So, yeah. it's, like, it's, like, you have a smaller mass, but you still affect this larger object but in a smaller different way okay. but it's still very effective right and so you're getting all this movement based off this gravity that's that coming together pull. dude this, this is great gra- i love this stuff i'm the- sorry <laughs> <laughs> i'm just like this. but like i i wanted to ask some like like this is like pure feelings no facts yeah and that's what because like you out of probably anyone else i've ever met you're you are a huge big just pure feelings guy like when i'm around you i feel that you have like i I don't not built up emotions but like the way in which like you not act but like i like i feel something that's moving in you i don't know what that thing is i don't know how to describe it but there's something in there where it's like like and I feel like more often than not you may have some tune or some song or some vibe that's happening in you yeah. where you make people want to be around you just by how your energy is affecting them. That's really I I hope so. I mean like at the same time I don't want to like be a nuisance to anyone by bringing anyone to me that doesn't like want to be, you know what <laughs> I mean? Like, but, like, I don't think like Again, I don't, and I, I don't think, like the, attr- like the attracting of any of those forces, are bad. Like you may have some forces that like collide with each other. Yeah. But I don't think that's a situation with, like, per well sometimes with personalities I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, I think for me, like the main thing that I do, and it's like super cliche, is just. Like try to be as understanding as I can to everyone and then try to just be as nice as possible, like whenever I can, because it's been times in my life where it's not been as nice as possible. And like, I think that's probably why I try to, the way I care of myself today is definitely because of what's happened in my life up to this point. Um, And so like, just even on like those hard days when I'm in the elevator like alone in a new city and I'm saying hi to a random stranger at like 6 a.m. and I get nothing back, just like a freaking (laughs) straight face. And they just don't even say hi, like no headphones and just straight ignored, like mean, didn't reply. But I guess you can consider that mean or like I'm annoying, one of the two. But regardless, like there's times like that where it's just like 
maybe I helped that person's day and I didn't know about it, even though they didn't reply to me, like maybe just me smiling and saying good morning or something. Cause I know when I've been in that position and I'm just like walking, I have my head down and like the second I look up or something and then I catch someone like just smiling or something. And it just makes you feel like you can push, you can keep pushing. Like, I feel like that's my main thing is just to try to get people to be understanding because of what everyone could have been going through or what they have been through, whatever's going on in their life. You have to understand that there is stuff like you said, like earlier, you're like, you got to get out of the car or maybe that, that person's had a long day. Like you, you got to recognize that there's, there's shit going on in people's lives. And then just being nice on top of that. And sometimes it's overly nice. I guess I'm also weird in a way where, like, being a customer service guy, like, I was Chipotle dude back in the day, and, like, people would be douchebags there, dude. they come in, chicken, rice. I'm like, okay, yo, yo, what did I, like, hello? How you doing today? He brought bowl or burrito? Like, what do you want? Like, people are just mean. So then there, I was always, always trying to be overly nice as, like, a, I'm going to get back at you. Like, I'm going to be so nice that you hate me even more. <laughs> type of thing. Like, that was my thing there. And um, I feel like, I feel like, if I were to classify how nice you are, you're like doorman nice. Like if you were not doing what you're doing today, but if you were a doorman, like you I'd would be, be the it. best doorman. Oh shit! I gotta go find some rich people. <laughs> <laughs> some rich people and just be like, "Hey, how's it going, Todd? Back from retirement? Oh, right. nice to meet you." Right. Like that. Yeah. No. I. I. Um. There's things that you know. You can you can always classify things too and be like this person's always doing the right thing or this person's always I don't think I'm always doing the right thing, but I try to be nice as possible and then trying to just be honest and understanding and I feel like it definitely takes you a long way because some people when they get stressed or like that's why I try specifically too like when I'm stressed or stuff and then I'm down like I try especially hard to like be still nice because like that's I feel like what like really helps me too to just always stay positive or try to at least is like because when you're down all you want to do is just like don't talk to me like i'm gonna put my headphones in like i'm gonna i'm gonna do my work and get out of get out of here a certain time or whatever the heck we're talking about like that's like you just want to play it very blunt and like get out of there but i feel like if you could still try to be nice maybe someone will bring something up like ask a random question that you weren't thinking them to ask just because you were nice to them for a second and then boom you're not thinking of how bad you were feeling a second ago like your day's better like you can be so nice sometimes too that it makes your day better even if you're having a hard day but i don't know a lot of the times too it sucks because sometimes i feel like you're you're like nice people that you can't get through to or that aren't like they think you're just dumb for being nice or whatever like you're like losing out on stuff and there's definitely that too where i've been my cousin always gets on me for that where he's like you're too nice dude like you're gonna get, you gotta be able to take like not be taken advantage of this and that and i think that's definitely led me down paths of getting taken advantage of in my life because i'm tolerant or whatever the heck you might call it with stuff um but i think it's worth it in my life to be nice no matter what i feel like <laughs> You could be the best sure. person ever, always reliable, whatever the heck the case is, always trustworthy. But to me, if you're not nice, you're nothing. Like you could be the CEO of whatever, like the most best influencer ever. But if you're not like Keanu, Keanu Reeves, like famous guy that'll sit down with like a random person on the street. And maybe he's only doing that for those pictures. I don't know the guy, but like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like if you're just always nice not just what you want people to see or feel or whatever like if you can just try to always be kind in some way but that's like a value in life that i hold really nice like that's why i try to do that because i personally want people to be really nice to me i'm just saying we're taking shots based off of how many times you said nice oh we would have to get our stomachs bumped Definitely. that'd be way too many but yeah, no. I mean, I I definitely get that. I and I feel like, I mean, I definitely try to be as nice as I possibly can, always. Um, sometimes, you know, when I'm really in the zone or like I'm trying to focus or like, you know, I mean, people have misconstrued a ton by my tone, right? I've been told my tone 
sometimes, you know, it can be approved, improved or like I'm not aware of my tone with what I'm saying in the moment. Um, like I wouldn't say I'm monotone, but my voice inflections aren't changing all the time. But I will say I'm very expressive in my face mm -hmm. and can convey it. Like I didn't even notice your tone. What do you, what do you mean? I guess we're just always chill. Uh, I mean, I'll give you an example. I'm not going to go too much into detail. But, like, you came up behind me one time, and I was just like, not now. People took that. No, but I know that that's, like, <laughs> But, yeah, you, you know, know what that. I mean? But, like, yeah. others were like, oh, I'm like, is he, is he okay? Is he, like, really mad? I'm like, I'm not mad. I'm just, like, I'm in. You're clearly, I'm like, you were dude. doing your thing. Yeah, yeah. So. No, I feel you. I feel you. No, that I don't, and that's what I'm saying. Where it's, you got to come from that understanding, like we talked about earlier. Because then sometimes people will be like, they'll take that, for example, and like, for example, in that situation, I also knew you had stuff you were doing. Right. Um. So it's like I can't expect you to turn around and be like, "What's up, Anthony? Like, how can I help you?" You know what I mean? Like sometimes yeah, you just yeah, can't. Yeah. It's like over the top is over the top, and so yeah. So like you're like, "Hey, not right now." Boom, and then I walk away. I'm like, "All right, he'll get back to me. I know he will. If he doesn't, I'm gonna annoy him." Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know I mean, what I mean, like, and I don't mind. I mean, you heard me talking on the phone earlier. I was like, "Hey, if you need help, just yeah, give yeah. me a call. Like, no big deal, whatever." So. Yeah. So no, yeah, you got to come with that understanding and not take it as like a because there's also people in my life that I know specifically where like something will kind of happen where they'll feel like someone took a dig at them or like they'll feel like something was there where they weren't like. And they'll just like flip it and be like, "Oh, like I'm gonna try to do something back so that they can feel how I." And it's like that's in my eyes that's petty. And I don't even I don't even think that way. I'm not talking about that situation anymore. But like you know what I mean? Like in general, like if people do something and then they try to be petty to get back, I feel like that doesn't feed into like because you just did what made you upset to them, just to show them that it made you upset. Why instead of like telling them it made you upset and then like trying to actively. Yeah, I mean, I, the, the, I think that just gets down to the, like the revenge aspect of getting upset, right? So it's yeah. like you did, like you did what they did to you because you were upset. Just to try to set an example of like how it feels, which sometimes I will say it works. Sometimes it does, Definitely. like because a lot of people don't like know how something feels until they're in that situation, right? Mm -hmm. Like, and so like. I feel like I've learned a lot of situations where like I didn't understand how someone was feeling. Uh, I've never been in that situation. I was too young. I Dude, like, me too. I was gonna say people did that to me because I'm the worst multitasker. For example, so I'll be on my <laughs> I'll be on my phone Fair. and someone will like someone will start talking to me, and it could be important. It could be like, "Hey, Anthony, like you just lost all the money in your bank account." And if I'm on my phone reading a text. Or something from someone I can't I didn't hear them and so like my friends do that to me all the time just so that they know that like how just to make sure that I know how it makes them feel and that's why I try to stop so much because like I'll ask them a question like recently after that happened and like I said I didn't know it happened because I'm bad at multitasking and then I'll be like yo like Jerry I turn over and he's just like purposefully like I'm <laughs> doing this and I'm like oh, like I did it again right. That's fair. Yeah, so there's definitely certain situations where it works for sure, because that always makes me laugh too. I'm like, this is this is funny. Like, I I shouldn't have done that. So I, I do kind of want to close close the loop on the vibes vibrations thing, and like, do you play guitar? Well, you play ukulele. Uke, and I'm trying to play bass guitar. I want to learn bass guitar. So like, which literally that is, let's vibrate these strings to make some good yeah. sound that people want to listen to, right? That's so true, and that's a big reason why I do play music. Like, it's a therapy for myself, but sitting there, like, sure, you can get paid, and that's nice, too. Like, that's happened. But the point is, like, it's just awesome to sit there, and that changes people's days. Or, like, my family would be there, and your grandma comes over, and she says, I'm, like, getting off because I'm embarrassed because I messed something up or whatever. And my grandma's like, keep playing. And you're like, you just feel good. Like, So let me ask you this. I feel like... I get the vibration from you that you have at least one, if not a handful of songs that like was a major influence in your life. 
and that either saved you from doing something bad or like made you rethink something Definitely. or like kept you from going crazy. I 100%. feel like I've had songs in my life that have done that. And I'm curious, like if you could give me one or a couple where like this song influenced you so much. Um, and I kind of want to just tie the bow up on the good yeah. vibes thing. 100%. I mean, different genres for this as well. For like different times in my life or whatever is going on. Um, All I Wanted by Paramore. Pretty big one. Uh, I would say Star Shopping by Lil Peep. Probably a cringe one right there. but Rest in shit, Peace. That, yeah, Rest in Peace. That one, that one hurts my soul. I learned that as my first song on guitar, believe it or not. Ah, oh, man, there's a lot of them. There's, I, cause I connect with a lot. That's why I connect with music a lot too, is cause like it's mu- it's mood music. Um, it can pull you out of mood or get you into one. Uh, I would say those two are pretty prominent. There's definitely a lot more, two more that I can think of, but I don't. Really sure. Know. Yeah, I mean, I think that wraps it up pretty good, at least, well, at least for that. Um, Did you have some as well? Um, it's, it's okay. You don't have to share. I'm trying to think. Um, I'm very sporadic in my listening habits, and um, there's been many things or songs I didn't like, and now that I like now. Mm -hmm. uh, Like, I just kind of started getting into Johnny Cash. Don't know why, some weird reason, but... um, You got me into it. (laughs) (laughs) But, uh, was it The Gambler, The Rambler? I can't... Uh, the yeah, I can't remember. Like the gambler, the rambler, the midnight rider, something, something, something. Like by Johnny. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm familiar. My dad loves Johnny. Um, but like there'll be certain songs where I'll just pick up on and off, and like, um, I feel like I have a lot of Drake songs that for some reason like this Jewish Canadian rapper. From Dude, like, hit so hard. It's like, look what you've done. That one's a great one that I always go back to. But like, I feel like, like, just a wild how, you know, a musician or something like that, like, influences your life or like at least helps you through a lot of things. Like, for example, we played "Landed" by Drake when we landed at the airport. Like, <laughs> I'm like the most basic white dude. Like, yep, got to play every time I land. It's just, like, yeah. the thing to do, right? So As we clap it up. <laughs> as you clap. For the pilot as landing. You, Come on, man. Um, and we're the only two people clapping. So, shout out us. Got to have it. Um, Pilots do God's work. <laughs> that was how many people do you think were on that flight? 400, 300? Probably two, 230. Maybe I was over gapping. That's still 230 people by one guy. Maybe you can count the other I see there were, we were in row, what, 32? And there's basically three people per row mm-hmm. so um what's that it's nine what 90 people but there was like, a few rows behind us there might have been 40 rows in total mm-hmm. so 80 120 so sub 200 right below maybe yeah about 150 at least on that flight definitely though just like i gotta clap it up for him like that's two people's lives gotta give them good vibes. place to be like it was a how much how long drive? 10, well, ten, eleven hours. The the flight attendants too. Yeah. So absolutely. All Every right. single person on the plane. Let's wrap this up and then let's go get some food. All right. Wait. Uh, your fourth food. Or did, did you I have a fourth, fourth food? I don't know. Well, you said Bojangles. We'll keep it at three. All right. Well, I had three. Well, then if we're keeping it at three, this is over. Oh, then we gotta go one more. <laughs> well, one more for me, but I feel like. We'll just give you one more because we lost track. Mm-hmm. But I'll I'll give one, then you finish it up, and we'll wrap this up and go get some food. Yeah. Um, past food. Uh, I would say, and I feel like if you catch me on any day, like it would be different. With the only consistent one probably being Chick Fil A. Uh, I feel like this is kind of a sleeper pick and. All the locations are not the same, so it's not consistent. I'm going to go Dairy Queen. Wow. 
And the reason I'm going to go Dairy Queen is, like, you can't beat their frozen treats. Like, they have Dairy Queen cakes. That's right? actually such. Dairy good. Queen ice cream cakes. Their fries are good. Their fries are good. They got but the chili glizzies. Chili glizzies. Have you ever had a footlong glizzy from there? I've not. I've not, actually. So, some of them have foot dong. Uh, foot dong. <laughs> <laughs> foot long glizzies. <laughs> and, That's perfect. Uh, you can get them chili cheese or just regular. So, like, and the reason why I say it's not consistent is because not all of them have, like, the chicken strip basket. So, like, yeah, they used to have, it used to be the five-buck lunch, but then inflation. Like, you get a five-buck lunch, it would get you chicken strips, fries, a drink, a small sundae. That's crazy. And I think maybe something else. But it was, like, and then you could upgrade, like, you could pay a dollar more and get a blizzard, a small blizzard. That's so you actually have a blizzard. Crazy. A drink, fries, and chicken. That's on cookouts level, and I never knew about it. But now it's up to like a six or seven buck lunch. And so it's basically just like any other. Any whatever. other like combo meal. Type yeah. Of. It's really just the advertising behind it. That's Eat. a good solid pick, though. Like, I'm now that, like, when you were thinking, I was also trying to process what my fourth one would be, and I'm like having trouble. Yeah. So what I was getting about the consistency is like, there are some Dairy Queens that are just like, they, they're they pretty much just doing ice cream and they're just like walk-up mm-hmm. only. There's no dine-in. And they may have like hot dogs or something. Like there's one I've been to where they have like pulled pork or like a chicken sandwich. Like it's not a full menu dairy. Yeah. But that would be... And then you could be thing. going... No, that makes sense. Because I actually did that. I went to a Dairy Queen by like... <laughs> <Stone> <laughs> Was that? <laughs> no, no. that Dairy Queen is the smaller one, the one that my card <laughs> I got card declined, declined every at. time, and then you had to get free ice cream. Yeah, I got free ice cream at Dairy Queen because uh, I came back from work travel, and um, just so happened that I maxed out my credit card for the first time ever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and but, so I got to Dairy Queen, and I thought because I had been traveling out of the state that my card was picking up, you know. Uh, you know, security fraud or whatever, you know, why are you buying it at this state? Right. You know, you've just been at these states and I'm like on my phone, like, what the hell? Like, no, I'm, I'm buying Dairy Queen. Like I'm in the line right now. The lady's holding my blizzard. It's like melting on her hands. I'm like, oh, I feel so bad. I'm like, let me, let me pull over. She's like, I'll put it in the freezer real quick and uh, we'll sort this out. I pulled over to my bank, thought I figured it out, got on the phone with them for 10 minutes, go back. The, the blizzard's just like iced over with like it's dripping on the cup. Like the napkin wasn't helping. I felt so bad. And the lady, I go, I thought I fixed it, slide the card again, decline. She just gave it to me out of shame. She's like, I feel bad for you. I'm sorry. And I and then she's like, just get get us back next time if you come back. So I came back and I tipped like five dollars. I don't know how much the small blizzard is, but I hope that covers it because my card was working the second time I came back. I, I'd pay it again. I'm sure that's fine. But, uh, all right, last pick. I'll give you 10 seconds on the clock. Last pick. 10, 9, 8, 7. Little Caesars. Yeah. There's only Sticks one. and slices. There's only two good things. Little Caesars cheese bread or whatever. What $6.70 something cents. Okay, well, now inflation changed that, too. I'm telling you, man. Like, <laughs> Thanks, Little everyone. Caesars 